What if I told you that with the press of one button, you can import any model from Valorant into Blender? This is a tool called Valorant Porting, and here's how easy it is to install. First, go to the GitHub provided in the description and download all of the prerequisites. Head over to the Release tab and download both the Valorant Porting and Valorant Porting Blender.zip. Next, install the Valorant Porting Blender.zip into the Add-ons section of Blender and make sure to click on the box to enable it. Next, extract the Valorant Porting.zip and go ahead and run the EXE. If it's your first time setup, it might ask you what language you want the game in and also what the location of your Valorant Packs folder is. This one is usually the same for everyone if it's installed on their main drive, but you might have to change it if you installed it on a secondary hard drive. All you have to do now, click whichever skin you want, select the variant, and click send to Blender. It's that easy. You can also do this multiple times per scene. All you have to do is click send to Blender, and just like that, any weapon you want will appear. Now for the agents, it's even simpler. All you have to do, click on the agent you want, extend to blender and just like that it'll import the first person third person and character select model all with one click from there you can just simply move the characters to the side and just like that you have your character select model your first person one and your third person now let's talk about the limitations of a program like this as you know, and I've talked about before, VFX is one of the most difficult things to port over from Unreal Engine into Blender. And the reason for that is you have to remake everything from scratch. All the nodes are different and you have to kind of reverse engineer how the skin actually works. Now, this can be most evident with the Champions 2023 Vandal. If I go ahead and send this to Blender through Valorant porting, as soon as the texture loads, you're going to see that this is simply white. Now there's multiple slots, so for some skins that mainly utilize VFX, things are going to be different for you. Now you can see here that these slots are all white, it's gradient LUT one, you can see these previews are red, they just simply don't import properly, uh, this ray level 4 doesn't import, and for this one, this top glass, glass doesn't actually work at all, so all you have to do is just delete everything add a glass VSDF and connect it to the surface and you're good to go. Now for the rest of the skin, unfortunately, like I mentioned before, the entire thing is VFX. So if you wanted to recreate all of those little dots, you'd have to do it from scratch. Now Valorant Porting doesn't do this for you and for the skins where the VFX does work, people have manually recreated it and sent that over to the developers of this program in order to make sure that your skin can work with VFX. However, this hasn't been done for every single gun and the automatic import doesn't work for things like that. What I would recommend to fix this model, just go ahead and copy the entire node setup over to this ray level four. Go ahead and delete this and paste it in and it will at least make it look like the rest of the gun. Uh, also, the glass does work and has stuff underneath it, um, but you will have to add all the emissions and masking stuff by yourself because once again this gun is entirely vfx if you are part of the valorant 3d editing and design server you can go over to this brand new tab called weapon assets where kirby has gone ahead and created a post for every uh collection that's currently in the game so now you'll notice a lot of these have zero replies because right now there's no nothing in them right now uh, but if you go to some collections with replies, some people have been posting their blend files of the weapons. Uh, and if you go ahead and port one properly into your own blender, you can go ahead and upload these for the community to be able to use. Now, some of them you'll see already Kirby has uploaded or other uh, members of the server. So you can go ahead and download them from there. And it might be a quicker way than using Valorant porting and trying to recreate all of the different node setups yourself. Well, that's all you need to know about Valorant porting. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions or ideas for another video, drop it down below in the comments and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.